Hello, welcome back. Okay, so here you see me playing flam taps and then alternating flams. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on, but in the most simple terms, I start by allowing the sticks to lie in my hand. I then develop what is we, we call the floor. It's a starting position. It's a half inch parallel B to butt end from the plane surface. I also have an awareness with regards to the fact that in palm down, there's a fulcrum that exists. It's the first knuckle middle finger. And in the left, there's a fulcrum that exists in traditional, which is the crotch of the thumb. I'm going to try to allow my arms to simply hang as freely as possible. So I'm leading by the wrist. The wrist is always leading. Now, I want to simply allow that st uh, the sticks to have as much freedom as possible. That means I'm going to, as Richard Martinez points out, it's really important not to clutch with the fourth finger or you'll ruin the stick's ability to flow freely through what is that path of least resistance. So I start to establish all of those things as well in the left, I should mention. We don't want to clutch with the first finger because as Richard Wilson would point out, then the first finger starts to become the fulcrum. We want to simply allow that first finger to lie on the stick like a feather glued to the stick. As so we have all those things in place, and then we're going to put them into practice. the systems check. And what we have is what are relaxed or efficient strokes that come from observing all of these different parts of what this technique is about. Well, I hope this helped. Please visit my website, kevincrab.com, where you can check out the articles I co-authored with Richard Martinez in Modern Drummer on the master teachers, Murray Spivak and Richard Wilson. Thank you. Talk to you more next time.